Hi everyone and um, welcome to a new project pan collab that I am joining in. This is a collab that um, I've been asked to join. I've been asked if I was interested to join in um, actually 2016 already and um, Rebecca from S um, Simple Southern Girl actually had asked me if I wanted to join in on a project pan collab and I was like I'm not sure I I just don't want to use up too many products in 2017 because I got a little burnt out on project panning in 2016 and she said she totally understands it so um what I decided is that I was going to join in but I would not finish up any of the products I'm working on I've kind of changed my mind on that one a little bit when I was picking up products for this but nonetheless, I'm very happy about um, being here and being a part of this because we're actually a group of six girls um, and we want to use up seven products between now and April 22nd, if I'm not completely mistaken, which is Earth Day. And um, this will just be a wonderful Project Pan collab and it will be quite, a nice, quite a, ni a nice amount of time to just work on products and see how it goes. So um, the girls who join in are not only Rebecca from Simple Southern Girl, it is also um, Elizabeth Bromberg um, Christensen who is a Danish um, beauty YouTuber who makes videos in Danish and in English. Then it is Betsy from make up your mind we have amber f who i'm pretty sure you know if you watch um any pro um pan that palette product, uh, pans absolutely love those and of course um number five would be jamie from jimmy jinx i'm going to link all the channels down below because i'm pretty sure i'm going to jumble up the pronunciation so um just check the info box down below for all the links to their channels. But um, yeah, I believe I've given you the basic premise and um, I'm going to start right in with my products. So for starters, I have a uh, twofer, which means I have two products that I count as one. These are both two mascaras and the first one is a Benicos Natural Mascara for Maximum Volume in Smooth Brown. I've been trying this since the beginning of January. And for me, the main issue is that I just don't think it gives maximum volume at all. It gives my lashes a nice light coat and that was it. And then I have the Tarte um, Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. This is a sample size or a travel size. And I absolutely hate this brush because it is... Um, here. Maybe you can see it. These are um, plastic bristles. Rubber bristles, I absolutely hate those. I don't like working with them. But the combination, um, if you see my lashes today, that's the result of the combination of these two. And I just want to use them and just be done with them eventually. However, I also have to say I don't really finish off mascaras. I throw out mascaras after three months because I do not want to end up with an eye infection. That has worked very well for me in the past year and a half or so, I guess. So, um... I'm going to stick with this. These will be done once they've been open for three months, which should happen towards the end or at least the second half of this Project PN collab. So um, this is probably a bit more easy of a um, goal to reach, but at the same time, um, I think if I don't put them in this project, I'm not going to use them at all because I just don't like them very much. Uh, it's the result of the lashes and the brush absolutely are no goes for me I don't like them the combination is like I get I get the brush that I like that uh, separates my lashes much better with this one here and then I get um, some darker and more um, lashes and more volume with this one so I kind of make it work but it's a hassle because usually I try to go with one coat of mascara only so um, hopefully with this project pan I can get some more use out of these and then move them out of my collection and try some of my other mascaras. Then I have an eyeshadow in here and this is my Alverde Mono eyeshadow in the shade Warm Vanilla. This is it and as you can see I already hit pan on this guy here. If you are familiar with my, um, with my videos on my channel then you probably know that I love this eyeshadow a lot. 
It's cruelty free, it's vegan, it is just a wonderful eyeshadow and I can't get this here. I'm not sure I want my parents to set this here, maybe I'll have my mom bring one. That might be a solution to be honest. But yeah, I'm not going to bother, I'm going to just use this one up for this project pan. There is, as you can maybe see, there's quite a bit left still but I use this all over my lid, I use this to blend out my eyeshadow and all of that. And I had to repress this because it actually fell on the floor and it broke. So this is a very, very soft texture and a very soft eyeshadow, which personally I don't mind. Because this is a very nice shade and it blends so well. But I want to finish this one up and then maybe work on a few of my other eyeshadows that are a similar color. And then I have another product I want to use up, which like I said, really surprised me that I would end up with so many products. I wanted to finish, but... This here is my Catrice Beautifying Lip Smoother. And I am all the way at this bottom green line here. I've had this in my 16 and 2016 lip gloss project pen and I wanted to use this one up. Obviously I failed. So I want to see if I can use this one up now and just be done with it because, well, I do like these a lot. This has been open for quite a while and since it has this this little spongy applicator. I just want to use this up and move it out of my collection because I'd rather buy a new one. But I find it a bit sad to throw this out. Then I have this foundation here. This is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. Mine is in the shade Ivory and this one I also want to use up. Um, I thought about this long and hard but I decided that I probably um, if I don't put this in this project pan or in any project pan in general, I it might just go bad before I use it up, but I don't want this to happen. Right now I am at this purple line right here on the side. This is where I'm at and um, I'm almost done with my e.l.f. foundation, so I'm trying to use this one when I don't use the e.l.f. foundation and that way hopefully by the end of this project pan it'll be done. If not, I won't be upset because I do like this foundation a lot and it is more on the more expensive side of foundations, especially for me, but I just want to try this and um, see how far I can get. But using it up would be perfect because then I'm pretty sure it's been open for 12 months. The next product I have is um, my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and this, as you can see, is there's not a lot left here. And I decided to just move the cap all the way to where the little plastic part hits the wooden part that you, or technically plastic part as well that you sharpen. And um, draw a line all the way up there because that way I think I can hopefully track the progress a bit better. So this is where I'm at right now. And hopefully I can use this up completely or at least, I don't know, maybe half of it. I'm not sure about this one to be honest because I've been trying to use this one up in 2016 already and I just want to see if I can get more use out of it because I have a second Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk here. Then I have a product that I definitely do not want to finish up. It is my NYX 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Zero and this is just this plain black eye pencil. I like the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil by Urban Decay but I just don't use them often enough, so I figure if I put one in um, every or every project pan or so, I can get a little bit of use out of them, and at the same time, um, hopefully they will not go too bad. So I am currently... I don't even know if you can see this. So right up here it says distribution, distributed by, and then... There you can see it's very close to the 24. It is maybe half a centimeter above the 24 where I last sharpened. And I just want to see how far I can get with this one because it's a nice eyeliner and I should probably get more use out of this before it dries out. And my last product is a skincare product and this is my all about the it's my Alba Botanica Acne Dote Maximum Strength Face and Body Scrub. It is oil free. It is um, with 2% salicy salicylic acid and willow bark extract. It has no parabens, phthalates, or synthetic fragrances. 
and 100% vegetarian ingredients. I do like this a lot, but at the same time I have to say I should probably... Um, I'm very close to the being done. I'm right here on this purple line and um, maybe I can use this one up. I use this almost every day anyway, so maybe I can use this one up and that would be awesome. I just figured I want to try a different scrub after I'm done with that one, although I do like this a lot. So um, we'll see how far I can go with that one. So, and these were the products I decided to pick for this Project PN collab. I hope you have a wonderful time and I will see you guys soon. Bye!